Hello and welcome back to new Unreal Engine for you video. Today's video is about how to make your controller give some feedback or vibration. Uh, basically, before uh, with with Unreal Engine 4.10 or less, uh, this thing been handled in a weird way. So if you wanted to have a uh, vibration in your controller, uh, you let's say for example we have here third person character and we want whenever we jump we have a vibration within our controller. So uh, we come here to the jump and let's say it happens when it stop jumping for example oh, let's take this here for so basically you would come here and get the player controller and we play or, dyna or run dynamic force feedback but the problem here with the dynamic force feedback uh, let's say we want whenever the, the player start jumping the vibration start and when the jump ends the vibration stops But the problem here is that you need to have uh, Lots of settings like okay. We want we as you know We have four triggers within any controller like Xbox 360 or Xbox one or whatever So here you can enable the left and right small and large triggers and also you can set a duration uh, minus one means it's a loop until you hit uh, stop and the intensity which is the power for this vibration so let's say uh, let's give it the maximum so you can hear my controller shaking here and let's keep the four triggers enabled and let's play so whenever I jump when you hear it, it, it just keep vibrating so this is actually cool but the problem here think about that you have uh, a setup for vibration and you have to use this setup for several let's say several blueprints and and several in several situations and suddenly your designer said okay this vibration is too high we need to have it like uh, 0.5 and also we need to exclude the small triggers so you have to go through all your blueprints and keep doing these adjustments or keep doing these edits uh, or another way that you put here as you can see four pullings and two floats you can put here uh, four pullings variables and two floats so you can easily change this but still this is not the perfect way or you can make a data structure and you can use this structure later which is a little uh, consuming what I mean consuming it's not about performance what I mean uh, you are going to create data structure which is an asset and when you come here to the blueprint you have to break this data structure you cannot just directly load the data structure or something so it's it's like uh, taking some time or it's not straightforward and if you work it with the sound system here with an Unreal Engine you can have lots of types of assets here like reverb effects which store uh, the reverb data or reverb values uh, you can have sound class you can have sound mix which stores data that you can use later which is very interesting and now with Unreal I think 4.11 I don't believe I don't think it was in 4.10 yet but yeah in 4.11 you have here in miscellaneous you have something called force feedback effect this force feedback effect is basically a holder for the vibration so I can call this uh, jump vibrations so and I know this is will be the jump vibrations regardless if it's a player if it's something else so you will have this jump vibration I know that uh, vibration should be for your player so for example if there is enemy running you don't have to get some shakes from the enemy but imagine that the enemy is hitting you for example or punching you so you should have something but anyway so in this one you'll see it's quite different but it's still the same so it asks you what triggers you want to have so four same triggers uh, left and right small and large and here there is something called curve and how the curve is works it's actually a mixture between this two the duration and the intensity and here as you can see you're bound from zero to one same thing here but you can even put more I don't believe more would be efficient or something it will act the same as controllers have uh, a maximum bar but anyway so let's say you come here and let's add a key and change the key time from zero and the value let's say let's say 0 
and let's come here within one second and add another key and let's change this value here the time is one and let's change the value to one the interesting part here is that you you not only have an asset that you can just change one asset and all the blueprints will get effect but also you can have like smooth blend between the vibration the vibration start at zero and then it smoothly blend to one so when I come here and play oh there is no difference actually because I didn't use this yet so I come here and let's uh, delete this and let's say force feed uh, sorry Let's take it from here force feedback so client play force feedback and let's select the asset and we have only one asset and let's we can make it loop no we, we don't have to loop. it's it's just small jump you can also give it a tag and let's here uh, stop playing this uh, force feedback and let's just stop it and the player stop so when i hit play here and i jump it started very soft and then became very hard if you carefully hear it started very soft like 0 0.1 or something whatever we we put here in our curve uh, here the curve and then it became hard so you're not only able to change here yeah it starts soft and became very hard so you not only can make create one asset and use it several times so change one asset and everything will be changed but also you can have like smooth which is really amazing and sometimes it's it's really dramatic for cinematics or whatever it's really interesting i hope it helps thank you bye